What is up people on the interwebs? I hope you're having an amazing day and welcome back to the spooky month on Nerdy Nails and today I am going to show you how to create these plain white nails. Yep, these are some simple plain white nails. Nothing out of the ordinary of these nails but yep, just some pretty plain white nails right here. But again, you guys already knew this, the thumbnail always gives it away but this is one of the things I love about creating some spooky Halloween nails is I get to create some more cool UV nail art and that is what we're doing today. We're going to create these really spooky white UV skeleton nails. So let's jump into all the tools we're going to need in today's video. So for starters you are going to need two different types of white nail polish. You're going to need one that glows in UV light and one that doesn't glow in UV. And you're also going to need these two stamping plates and a stamping kit and you'll also need some liquid latex and some tweezers and of course you are going to need a base coat to seal and protect your natural nails and today we are actually not going to use a top coat some of you may be a bit confused on why we're not using a top coat today but I will explain at the end of the video why we are not using a top coat today but that is all the tools you're going to need in today's video if you don't have any of these tools I will place a link down below where you can find the majority of the items so let's jump into today's spooky nail art tutorial so for starters you are going to need to apply a base coat to all of your nails and once the base coat has dried you are then going to apply some liquid latex around your nail and once the liquid latex has dried you are then going to apply your non-UV white polish onto your nails as the base colour and you may need to apply two coats of white polish onto your nail but once you're happy for how your white polish is looking on your nail you are then just going to let that dry and once it has dried we are then going to move on to the stamping part of this design so for starters we are going to start off by creating all the little bones on all of our nails apart from our ring finger so you are going to apply your UV white nail polish onto the bone design and then with your scraper you're going to scrape the polish through the design and then with your stamper you're going to stamp the design onto your stamper. Once we have our scattered bones we're just going to place that onto our nails. Once you have placed the scattered bones onto your nail we are then just going to remove the liquid latex from our nail and we are just going to leave that how it is and then we are going to move on to the second part of this design and we're going to create our skeleton on our ring finger and we are just going to repeat the same process again so you're going to apply your UV polish onto the skeleton design and then with your scraper you're going to scrape the polish through the design and then with your stamper you're going to stamp the skeleton onto your stamper once we have our skeleton on our stamper we are then going to place our skeleton onto our ring finger if you do struggle to position the designs from your stamper onto your nail due to them both being white what you can do is you can have your UV lamp on or your UV torch on and place the design whilst the light is on as that will help position the design a lot easier if you can't do it in natural daylight but once you have placed your skeleton on your nail we are then going to remove the liquid latex from your nail and once you have removed the liquid latex and you're happy for how your nail is looking we have finished today's spooky nail art tutorial now just before i go i'm just going to give you some important tips to remember when it comes to making this design and these are ones that you are going to want to try and also avoid when it comes to creating this design so as you can see here I have three testers that I did earlier now the important tip to remember is not to use a top coat for this one 
Now the reason why we don't use a top coat is if you look at my middle skeleton um, compared to the ones it's a lot more enhanced for the glow but you have also lost the clarity of the skeleton as it is not as crisp and clear compared to the other two skeletons on my other fingers and the top coat has also made the UV polish smudge so that is why I avoided a top coat for this design the reason why I think this has happened for this design as I have used top coats in the past before with a lot of my UV designs and I think this has happened because this design I've done with my UV polish it is solely white and white polish always seems to enhance a lot of different colours and I think that's what's made it go a bit blurry and not as nice as the other ones as it's kind of the top coat mixing with the white polish has like over enhanced it so that's why we didn't use a top coat for this design as it has slightly ruined the design a little bit compared to the other two now the second tip to remember if you do happen to have a good selection of white nail polish you want to make sure you pick your white polish that glows best under UV light as I have two polishes that can glow under UV light but as you can see um, the one on my pointer finger glows a lot better compared to the one on my ring finger so that's just another thing to also just take into consideration is make sure you pick your best glowing UV light to get the best results and also just to get the design standing out a lot more from your base colour and then my third final thing to remember is make sure you clean your stamping products well before you start as if I turn off my UV light now you can see on one of my fingers there are traces of black polish on the design and that's because I didn't clean my stamping products very well um, in the past when I made this design so there's also a bit of black polish on the stamping plate and that black polish has transferred with the white stamping polish and now I've got black polish on my nails which I didn't want that because it ruins the illusion of the nail being completely white and you can kind of just see parts of the outline of the skeleton so make sure you clean your stamping products very well before you start a new stamping design you can also see I didn't really clean my plates very well in the making of my tester as I stamped my ring finger skeleton first and then I did my brighter UV skeleton afterwards and you can kind of see I haven't cleaned it very well in between these two rounds as part of the dollar UV white has transferred onto my brighter UV skeleton so against all of my tips I'd say the most important ones are here is really don't use a top coat for this design and make sure you clean your stamping plates very well when you create this design so those are my two best top tips to when it comes to making this design but that is everything for today's video guys if you have enjoyed these spooky uv skeleton nails please leave it a like and if you have any other ideas of what spooky nail art i should make during this spooky month or even some non spooky nail art throughout the year please leave a comment down below and just remember guys keep being awesome keep being spooky and i'll see you tomorrow for another scary nail art video bye